Scans revealed mom was pregnant with five babies. Then, worryingly, her belly began to bruise and swell. For most families, the birth of a child is a happy and positive experience, but the addition of a newborn baby to a household may also in some ways decrease parental physical and psychological well-being. There are many well-known factors that can increase pressure on a family when a newborn arrives, such as changes in the hours of unpaid and paid work and role adjustments. But some couples encounter other obstacles long before they come to think about this kind of problem. Guillermina Garcia and her husband Fernando were keen to add to their family, which initially consisted of the couple and their one daughter Julieta. As a result then, they opted to use fertility drugs to increase their chances of conceiving. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. In fact, more American women than ever are using fertility treatments to get pregnant. However, there are possible repercussions in doing so, and some that even the most broody of moms might not be prepared for. One major consequence is an increased likelihood of more than one egg developing, otherwise known as multiple gestations. In the case of some types of fertility treatment, one out of every three of the women who successfully become pregnant may experience this. So perhaps it didn't come as a complete shock when Guillermina was told in an early prenatal appointment that she wasn't carrying just one baby. However, the big surprise no doubt came shortly after, when it was revealed she was in fact carrying no fewer than five little ones. Guillermina and Fernando live in Utah, some 1,800 miles from their birthplace in Mexico. And it was at the University of Utah Hospital in Salt Lake City where the expectant mother would undergo a cesarean section, in the hopes that all five babies would be delivered successfully. Unsurprisingly, incidences of quintuplets are uncommon. In fact, in the United States, fewer than 10 sets of quintuplets are born annually. In 2014, moreover, only 47 live births were recorded in sets where there were five or more babies. Quintuplets, or quints, are so rare furthermore that the University of Utah Hospital had not encountered such a case before. But that didn't stop a team of no fewer than eight doctors, an anesthesiologist, and a legion of nurses from facing the challenge head-on. Still, mom and babies needed careful surveillance, since Guillermina was suffering from something potentially very dangerous indeed. She had severe preeclampsia, which causes an expectant mother's blood pressure to shoot up and her extremities to swell. Nevertheless, Guillermina never lost her cool even in the face of this adversity. Indeed, the University of Utah's Tracy Monock even remarked that despite her health concerns during the time, Guillermina was an extraordinary person who never complained, according to a CTV news report in May 2013. And considering how dangerous preeclampsia can be, it's hard to disagree with a physician. In fact, when left unchecked, severe preeclampsia can cause a pregnant woman's organs to fail. Sadly, unborn babies fare no better either. The condition stops blood flowing through the placenta, a fetus's lifeline. In addition to preeclampsia, Guillermina suffered abdominal bruising caused by the number of babies jostling for space in her womb. Thankfully, however, despite them making her look like she might have fallen down several flights of stairs, Guillermina's blemishes were actually no real cause for alarm. And luck continued to be on the Garcia's side. Guillermina managed to carry the quince until 32 weeks, around 20 days longer than the average quint pregnancy, in spite of needing to spend a large portion of her pregnancy in bed due to complications. These extra weeks inside their mother's belly were good news for the unborn babies. It gave their tiny lungs more time to develop, which would later mean spending less time in the neonatal intensive care unit, or NICU. At last, then, the big day arrived. Joining Guillermina in the delivery room was Fernando, donning blue scrubs and holding his wife's hand throughout the birth. And against the odds, five babies were delivered without a hitch, within just two minutes of one another. Eight physicians, an anesthetist, and twelve nurses helped ensure that things went smoothly for the Garcias and their new additions. Three girls, Marisa, Fatima, Esmeralda, and two boys, Jordan and Fernando, each made their way into the world, weighing between two and three pounds apiece. And as each arrived, they were handed to the waiting doctors and nurses. We feel like we're dreaming, Fernando said at a later news conference. It's incredible that we have five. But how would the young couple manage with so many little ones all at once? Now that they're here, we'll find a way, Fernando said. We've got through the hardest part. Certainly, given the fears and worries that may have accompanied the pregnancy, the Quinn's safe arrival must have been a relief. Fortunately, too, the parents have a network of family members nearby to help with things like diaper changes and milk feeds. Meanwhile, Fernando's employer was generous with paternity leave upon baby's births. Undoubtedly, however, the Garcias already possess one of the most important ingredients to raising healthy, happy babies. Love. 
and with that their against all odds kids will hopefully thrive well into the future. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.